Hello, this is Mary Hurdle from Made by Marnie, and I'm so excited to introduce to you my brand new book. This is book number six on paper piecing. It's called So Cute Baby Animals, and this is all about babies and nurseries and things you can sew for kids. Are you like me? Do you love to give handmade gifts? Would you absolutely adore making something soft and cuddly for your grandchild? I know I do. It gives me a lot of pleasure. I think it might be the same for you. This book has 17 different images in it. They're all paper pieced. And because they're for babies, there'll be no buttons used um, for anything that could be a chokeable. Everything is sewn right into the pattern. That's something new for me right now. I've often used buttons in the past to give my animals expressions. This is going to be um, such a clean, sweet way to paper piece images for babies and toddlers. What if you don't have a baby? Well, guess what? These blocks are all finished at eight by eight inches. They will fit into any of the other book patterns I have made. Um, all of my other five books have the same size blocks and everything's interchangeable. That means if you would take the all the projects in this book and mix them up with all the blocks just in this book alone, you get almost 90 different projects, which is so amazing. You can see around me a lot of the projects that you're going to find in this book. I have an entire quilt made of farm animals, a nice circular tote. You could put diapers in here, uh, towels, toys for the nursery. <clears throat> you could do um, a smaller baby quilt. <clears throat> this quilt is awesome because the binding is made from the backing and you're putting the binding and the backing on and the front border all at the same time. A very, very cool pattern. Um, some of the blocks you're going to see are just sweet and adorable images of all animals and then there's also a barn. But these aren't just farm animals. The kitten, I cannot wait to put this in a project. Look at this puppy. I get so many requests for animals, farm animals like this pig. And then also animals that could be used or found in a zoo or on a safari, wild animals, turtles. Here's a little chick. There's some really easy images like this one and then some that are a little more intricate. That would be good for an intermediate paper piecer. I also have some images that are made from two blocks put together that would create a rectangular shape. Who doesn't love a pony? I mean, what little girl doesn't want a pony in a quilt? It's adorable. Penguin. And here's one of my favorites, the sloth. My books always come with step-by-step -step how to paper piece directions. This sloth Every step is diagrammed in the book to get you through the whole paper piecing process. So if this is new for you, all you need is the book and you'll get the instructions you need to paper piece, plus how to put together every single project. Now here's a tip for using my patterns. The pattern is going to come to you all together like this. So you'll get the whole pattern in one page. You can see what it looks like ahead of time. I've even had customers who will take this image and trace it and use it as an applique. So it is usable either way. Your pattern isn't coming to you all in all separate pieces. You'll see the finished image. And of course it is gonna be reversed when it's done because paper piecing is always reversed. So you'll see what the finished image looks like right on the page with the pattern. It's also going to have some little directions here for you. And the first thing you're going to see are cutting directions. So you need to cut the pattern apart, adding quarter inch seam lines. I like to have the customer do this because 
If they cut it apart on their own, it's going to make more sense on how to put the pattern back together again. So here, you can see I have the pattern now all cut out into pieces. So it'll say on the pattern, make as many copies as you need. I suggest three copies for this sloth head. Make three copies, and then you cut them out, and it'll tell you how to cut them apart. So for this sample, A and B are cut from one copy, um, or A and C are cut from one copy, B is cut from a second copy, and then C and D, are, D and E are cut from the third copy. So you need three copies to cut all the pieces and add that quarter inch seam allowance. So then you paper piece one segment, and then another segment, and then you sew the two segments together. And let's take a look at this. One of my favorite projects in the book is this fabulous diaper bag, tote bag. The flap has the image on it, pockets inside, and the strap is changeable. So you can use this as a messenger bag over your head, or you can remove the long strap and make it into two short straps that hook onto your stroller. I can't wait to make this burp cloth for someone special in my life, and I hope you will enjoy So Cute Baby Animals as much as I do and make some great gifts for your loved ones. See you soon. Oh, 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 oh,